beauty addicts. Welcome back to another Sunday Loves and Duds. Woo! Sunday Loves and Duds. Woo! I hope you guys had a great week. Um, I had a very busy week. We finally finished putting up all of our Christmas decorations throughout the house. Specifically on the outside of the house, Mr. Man literally goes all out. All we need left is synchronized music to the lights and all the inflatables and a donation box. He seriously goes all out for um, all the kids in the family, all the kids in the neighborhood. It's funny because a lot of the neighbors joke around saying that all he needs is the bat signal and he's basically taking care of everything possible. So we are very excited about that. I have a lot of new products to show you this week. Um, I know that Black Friday was last week. I did get, um, my shipments are trickling in little by little. Not everything is in, uh, but I think I'm just going to show you like reviews of things that I did purchase. Obviously some things I cannot show you because they are Christmas gifts, but I am very, very happy with the sales that went on online. Online. I'm telling you that because you'll hear me rant a little bit later. But anyway, I do have a dud. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably already know what the dud is. But I do have a dud this week as well. So let's get started on our favorites. My first favorite is uh, these two eyeshadows. I picked these up the day before Thanksgiving, which was the Wednesday. Um, we had to get last minute items for Thanksgiving, so we decided to go to Walmart late at night. I am not a fan of Walmart. I tend to not go there unless I have to. But I knew that um, the certain items that we needed were there and there's only certain makeup lines that are sold there as well. So I took advantage and I picked up these Hard Candy uh, Fierce Effects uh, in High Intensity Eyeshadow. So this is the set that I did pick up. It's called Slow and Steady. I picked up two sets. But this particular set is the one that I have been really enjoying this week. Particularly this color, the um, the number on the back is $8.97 just in case. These are just like your Infallibles, your L'Oreal Infallibles. The only difference is these are, are a little bit more powdery. They're not as packed in there as the L'Oreal ones. The L'Oreal ones you kind of feel like you, ha you can really dig in there. With these you have to be very careful because they are very soft. They're not as hard as those. But it's the same concept where it has a little stopper on here. And this is the color that I really like this week. It is very, very soft and buttery. Look how pigmented that is. These are very soft. You have to be very careful with these because as you can see on the topper, there's a bunch of powder on here because they are really soft. But they're beautiful. They last all day. This is more of like your... Um, it's a mixture, I would say, like a rose gold with a taupe in there. Absolutely stunning. Look how beautiful that is. It's super, super vibrant on your eyes. Specifically, if you use this wet, it's beautiful. So I really enjoyed this one this week. I didn't really touch the other three because I have a palette that I want to show you guys that I was using this week as well. But this one in particular, I really enjoyed. Five bucks for two. You cannot beat that. And I believe they have five sets. I only picked up two. I didn't need to go crazy, so I only picked up two, and this is the one that I've just been using um, alongside with a palette that I'm going to show you next. The palette that I'm going to show you uh, that I have been really enjoying this week, and I wore it all, uh, all week long, it's the Too Faced Sugar and Spice Palette. So it looks like this. I actually have the packaging here, so this is what the packaging looks like. I kept it for you guys for your purpose. And these are the eyeshadows. It brings a bag and a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So these are the eyeshadows that came with it. I debated back and forth about getting this kit because I didn't need another one. But the reason why I purchased it is because for Black Friday, real quick, I'm just going to say it out loud. For Black Friday, I am not one that really appreciated the stores opening up at 6 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Black Friday is for Friday. That's my concept. And please, if you are different, if you think otherwise, do not get offended. This is just my mentality. So because I did not and refused to leave my Thanksgiving dinner or do any shopping until midnight, I did not get a lot of the things that I did want because I was very surprised that a lot of people did go out and miss their Thanksgiving dinner to shop. I am not going to do that. First of all, I wanted to pick out this year. Second of all, it's a family holiday. 
I want to spend time with my family. And if you're the type of person that only sees your family once in a while, why wouldn't you? So I didn't leave till midnight. So the, one of the main reasons why I picked up this palette is because I had to justify the fact that I was out at midnight, pregnant, and it was cold. And I needed to pick something else more than 20 bucks because I was only I only found the one thing that I really wanted that was $20. The other two things were sold out and everywhere we went was sold out. Besides my daughter's um, toys that we did pick our, uh, up for her. Other than that, I only got two things. That was it. Everything else was online. Trust me, I went crazy online because I needed to justify, not justify, I needed to make up for the Black Friday non-shopping. So anyway, back to the palette. That's why this palette is in my collection. It was there, the last one, and I really was debating on getting it a while back and I never did and it was sold out. So I said, oh, I missed out. So when I saw it there, I picked it up. So these are the eyeshadows in this palette. It's a really nice palette. for You could do a smoky eye. You could do a neutral eye. There are three mattes in here. I don't want to blind you, but this thing won't. Oh, there we go. There are three mattes in here. It's uh, this one right here, Coconut Cream. Um, meringue and clove. Clove is a beautiful matte mauve color. Very, very pretty. This eyeshadow palette is not, it's, it does not disappoint. It's the same type all through all of uh, Too Faced's palettes. Beautiful. Absolutely love this one right here. Sugared Violet is a beautiful color. Chocolate Cake. Oh, beautiful matte color. So, uh, my mistake. There's one, two, three, four five mattes. I forgot about these two right here. Chocolate Cake and Black Licorice are both matte. Now Black Licorice I used throughout the week as my actual liner. I used an angled eyeliner brush and just dipped it in there and then just gently put it right right above my uh, lashes and it gave me a really nice dark but not extremely their liner. It's really, really nice. I enjoyed that effect. It was kind of like a smoky line, but it was precise. This is not your deepest black. It came out more of a gray black than anything, like a charcoal black, but it still worked out fine. The only color I didn't really use was a sugar spice, which is here, and biscotti. All the other ones I did use beautiful palette it's a nice everyday palette it's those nice neutral palettes but you can also get a smoky eye and it's all it looks it's more of a plummy brown uh warm tone palette so if you like that and you can still find it i would recommend it you also get the mascara with it and a glittery bag which is super cute you can use that bag to give it away and put other things in there a really nice uh just daily palette. I would recommend this if you can find it. I really enjoyed it this week. I am not wearing it on my eyes today, but there will be a tutorial of using that palette. So if you guys want to see it in action, it'll come in the future, in the near future. Now for highlight. I am actually wearing the highlight today. Can you guys see that? Oh, I love this highlight. I hauled this in my VIB sale. This is the Makeup Forever Compact Shine On in number three. Now this is supposed to be a all over like setting powder I guess but obviously I'm not going to use this as an all over setting powder and I am obsessed with it. This gives you that pregnancy glow. This is perfect for that person that does not want to enhance any wrinkles, doesn't want to enhance any marks on their face, any uh, permanent issues that they they're just uncomfortable with. It's a beautiful soft highlight. The powder on this, like just the feel of it is so luxurious, absolutely beautiful. It's just one of those beautiful highlights that you can really, really use all year round. You don't feel like it's too much. It's not glittery, but it looks like that glow within. Now, I, I was considering looking into my collection to see what could be close to this because this is pretty expensive for just a regular powder. But I think it's it's really worth it. I am so glad I picked this up because it's just stunning. The closest that I could think of that is drugstore that would probably be something similar but not a dupe is the uh, Wet Wild Reserve Your Cabana. 
They do not swatch the same either here. I don't know if you guys can even tell that this is Reserve Your Cabana and this is the Make uh, Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever is obviously more intense, but if you're looking for something similar, I just go with this one, which is what, five bucks, three bucks, versus this one, which is 30 something dollars, but it is so worth the money. I love this. This is definitely for mature skin. I'm telling you, I actually have a scar right here on my face. And every time I highlight, uh, you can't help it. It's right there and you can't even tell. Like when I highlight right here, I can't even tell that it's right there compared to other highlighters that I do have. I love this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Check it out. I can't wait to try number five. I got three and five. So this is number three, more of the goldy based one. Number five is more of um, a softer champagne color. So I'm, I'm waiting to try that one out. So this has definitely been a favorite all week. I've been rocking it all week. I even use this as a topper to a matte blush that I'm going to show you that I've been loving. I just topped it on there and made it nice and shimmery. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Now I'm sure if you have Instagram, you know that the color of the year came out and I know I did not know the color of the year before I picked out this blush to wear for the week and it's the color of the year. So if you have it, you already are ahead of the game. It's the Bomb Instain Blush in the color, oh I never get this right, Pinstripe. There. So this is what it looks like and this is pretty close to the color of the year beautiful if you own these blushes you know how amazingly pigmented these are they leave a stain this is a beautiful eyeshadow as well if you haven't tried it as an eyeshadow i would highly recommend using it as an eyeshadow but i've been using this all week and it's just that nice fall deep color stunning i'm not wearing it today but i have been wearing it all week and i love this blush Love the line. This particular blush, I this was my first week ever using it. I've had this for almost a year and I just forgot that I had it. And it so happened that I pulled it out this week and it's the color of the year. This is pretty close to the color of the year. I forget what it's called, Marcella, Marsala, something like that. So if you have it, pull it out, it's beautiful. If you have any of the instain from the Balm, they're amazing. You can always find these on Hot Look, very inexpensive, half off. That's where I bought all of mine. And I bought Christmas gifts sets of these as well. Kohl's, I believe, has these as well. I don't know if they still have that trio set that they used to have last year. Last year, they sold three for 30, which I thought that was a great deal. Alone, this one's like 20 some dollars, but I got this for about 10 bucks. So you can find these inexpensive and they you do not need a lot. Like, trust me, you do not need a lot. For me being very oily skin, a lot of blushes break down on me, like inexpensive blushes, so you can't see it towards the end of the day because my oils just break it down. With this, it really lasts, it stains your cheeks, and it does not budge. Love this one. So again, this one's pinstripe. If you have it, you're ahead. For my lips, you probably saw this on Instagram as well. My friend Sarah Jones and Jackie um, are both doing the 25 days of lipsticks on Instagram. It's a hashtag. So if you do want to join, anybody can join. And I did it one day and that was it because I wore this look all week. I could not let it go. It is the lip liner from Stila. It's the long wear lip liner and this one's an aspiring. I'm not sure if this is available still, but I know that this line is. So this is the color Aspiring. So I've been wearing this all week on my, uh, I line my lips and fill it in. So this is what I've been wearing. Abs this lip liner really lasts all day. Like seriously, this is no joke. This is a great line if you don't uh, own any of these. Again, I got this on Hot Look. I'm sure it'll happen again that they'll have these, but this was a beautiful color. Aspiring, it's a nice everyday color. And I paired it with the Bite Beauty Glossé. There's an accent mark over the E, so I think it's called Glossé, not Glace. This was the one color I thought I was not going to like. And if you look, it has a little nubby because I have been rocking this all week long. <gasps> I love this combination. Love it. It stays completely on my lips all day. Friday, I forgot to mention, Friday I had my Christmas party at work. And I was going to wear red lips, but I felt like it was going to be too much for me to handle. And I didn't want to be bothered constantly looking at myself in the mirror to make sure if it was okay. Because I knew I was going to eat. I knew I was going to be drinking some sort of juice or something while everyone else was drinking their wines and beers. But 
I knew I was going to constantly be talking and laughing, so I didn't want a high maintenance lip. So this is what I wore. I wore this lip liner and I wore the Bite Beauty Glossé. I'm telling you, this is beautiful. It lasted the whole entire time. From the time I put it on at 7.30 in the morning till four o'clock when the party was over, I looked at my lips and this was still on my lips. Yes, it faded away, but because I filled in my line, um, my lips with the lip liner, it lasted, it stayed on, and I ate like a pig, let me tell you. I had penne a la vaca, I had flounder, I had steak, I had chicken marcella, I had a salad, yes. I had a whole plate full of that stuff, I kid you not. And it was amazingly good. And I drank juice three different times and it did not budge. It did not get on my teeth. It's a matte finish. So if you do not like the matte finish, I did top off one of those days with this lip uh, this lip gloss. This lip gloss is from Bare Minerals. It's the Marvelous Moxie. And this color is in Scene Stealer. Now this I got in a kit. This was in a uh, shimmery lip gloss kit. All the lip glosses in this line are in this kit were shimmery, but you don't feel the glitter, you don't feel the grittiness, it's super smooth, it has that minty feeling, and the this went perfect with it. That's the that's the actual gloss right there. This with the lip liner, it would be perfection as well. So all I did was just dab it right in the center and blot it like just put my lips together, and that's all that I use if I really wanted some sort of moisture. So this is my lip cosmetic cocktail that I had for the week and I am obsessed. It's going to be very hard to find something new this week because this is like that perfect everyday work appropriate. It's your default lip combination. It's beautiful and I would pay the $24, $22 to get the full size of Glace. The one color I thought I was not going to use, I have been non-stop using so I love that. Now on to my dud. I am so sad that this is a dud because I had very high hopes for it. I am currently in the works of trying other things to see maybe if that will work. Ooh, excuse me. But the Marc Jacobs eyeliners did not work for me at all. Now, I'm not going to say this is the worst product. Don't get me wrong. What I'm looking for is something that lasts 8 to 10 hours on my waterline. I don't understand why I have the most wateriest eyes on the planet it's just it nothing ever lasts more than five to six hours on my waterline then it's completely gone like I did nothing to my waterline so when these came out and everyone's raving about how great they were they last forever and I saw this little kit I figured I can buy this and try different colors so I did try three different colors I tried the brown the purple and the black now the black was the most most potent uh, darkest one out of all of these on my waterline. Um, I put them on around 7.30 and I would say before lunchtime it would be gone. Uh, if you don't have water eyes, like I know my sister bought the full size of the black one, she doesn't have water eyes as badly as I do so I feel like it'll last a lot longer on her than it would for me. I'm just that special case that it just does not last. I would compare these two if you are thinking about getting these and you do not have the really bad watery eyes like I do, I would compare these to the Jane Cosmetics eyeliner. The way that they wear and the longevity on my eyes, if the Jane Cosmetics lasts you all day, these are gonna last you all day. The Jane Cosmetics last me about five to six hours and it's very pigmented. I don't tug on my eyeliner it, or the my waterline. It doesn't tug on there and it goes on very smoothly and very pigmented and dark. That's how these are. But the longevity is the same thing. So I could have saved myself money on this kit and just stuck with my Jane Cosmetic eyeliners. They're the same thing to me. So if if you can compare those and see how the Jane ones last on you, you could probably know how these will last if you are considering these. I actually, on my um, Instagram, you'll see my waterline, how it's completely gone. I did mention there that I want to try Mally and I want to try It Cosmetics. Those are the two that I hear are also very, very great. You have to really scrub them off, yada, yada, yada. So I am on the hunt for two of those liners and I want to try those out to see if they work. I'm still on a, I'm, I'm on a forever mission on this. Also, if you do like these on, on skin, these, not on your waterline, but on skin, 
these really do last. If you want something as your lower lash line and you're looking for something like this, these will work amazingly. I did place the brown one under my under my waterline and um, I thought I took off all my makeup that night and the next day I still had some under there. So it does last on your skin, but not on the waterline, at least for me. So if you're looking for an upper lash line one or one that's on below your lash line, then this might work for you. But if you're looking for it for your waterline and you're very, very, very watery and your eyes are constantly watering or any little thing you think of, your eyes start to water, these are not going to last. It did not get in my, in my inner corner or my outer corner as much as other cheaper ones, which was good because... It, if I didn't notice, I, it would, I still would have been okay from a distance from someone, which is what the Jane Cosmetics one does. But there's certain ones that are, that are, you know, drugstore ones that after a while you can see all the gunk in the center and I, that's embarrassing. This did not do that to me at least. So that's the one good thing. I am going to try to return this. Um, we'll see how that works. If not, then I'm just going to use these as bases or on my lower lash line or maybe even give these away. I don't know yet. So... Anyway, I hope you guys have a great upcoming week. I was hoping to announce my giveaway today, but it's still not in the, it hasn't come in the mail yet. So I don't want to be all excited for you guys and not show you what I, I bought for you guys. So I'm waiting for it to show up. A lot of things are just taking a little bit longer in the shipment because obviously all the companies are overwhelmed. So I have not gotten your giveaway presents yet. And I'm adding additional things to it that I, um, you can find on an everyday basis that I do love so you guys can have those as well Once I get them I will do I'll probably end up doing a separate video because I don't want it to take too long um, I want you guys to get it before Christmas whoever wins it so you guys can enjoy it for the holiday So that's where my giveaway stands. So don't think I forgot about you guys. No, I shop for you guys and I'm so excited because uh, they're new and I don't, I don't even know how well they work, so I don't own it myself, so I'm hoping you guys give me your reviews on it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Ro oh, um, if you didn't watch my uh, collab with Mariela, I will link that down below. I had technical difficulties, which I was so upset about. That was not the original video that I was going to post. But it was corrupt the video the file so i had to post that uh tutorial up which i was not happy about so i am redeeming myself with this week's each week up until the last week of december her and i will be posting a collab tutorial if you did not check her channel out i will link that down below as well she's amazing amazing i love her to death she's also a jersey girl so her and i have that special bond considering we're both jersey girls so if you didn't check it out again i'll link it down below thank you guys so much for your support and for your patience with that video because i myself was not happy with it so i'm sure a lot of you guys were like what is this I'm sorry. I apologize. So this week you'll get a new one and I promise it's going to be full glam. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.